I am Dr. Jasir Rahman from Olympian Water Testing, an exclusive New York City and New Jersey based water testing company in the US. And today I am going to share some interesting information on lead contamination in drinking water. In this video, my specific focus will be on schools as the children spend a significant time there and so they are at high risk of lead exposure through drinking water. Therefore, it is very essential to monitor the lead levels in schools to keep the drinking water safe from lead contamination. Here are the contents of my video in which I will provide you a brief background about lead, what are the key sources of lead in drinking water its regulatory status, health impacts and vulnerable age groups. Next, I will describe you some known quantification approaches for measuring lead in drinking water and through what methods the drinking water can be made safe. Finally, I will bring your attention to schools which are considered key sources through which children can be exposed to lead. So, Coming to the background, lead is considered a major public health concern and is known to cause numerous health implications. It can contaminate drinking water through both natural and anthropogenic sources. Some known natural sources may include weathering and volcanoes, whereas human activities such as mining, lead-based paints, some industries and pesticides can contribute to elevated lead contamination in drinking water. It is believed that lead can contaminate drinking water through pipes, fittings or other plumbing materials that contain lead. Lead is regulated contaminant by the US EPA which has set an MCL of 15 micrograms per liter for drinking water. Among various age groups, children are considered as most vulnerable group because of their biological development and weak immune system, which put them at high risk of developing lead associated health problems. And schools are considered hotspot region of lead exposure among school children. Since they spend a significant time there and can be exposed to lead contamination. I will now describe some major health impacts associated with lead exposure. High risk age groups consist of children, the pregnant women and young ones, particularly below 20 years. Lead is a known neurotoxic contaminant and is reported to cause disorders of nervous system including the brain. Other organs may also be affected by its high exposure levels. In addition, it can interfere with calcium absorption in the body which may lead to weak bones and diseases like osteoporosis. Apart from its neurotoxic effects, lead can also adversely affect the cardiovascular reproductive and renal system in humans. It should be noted that the drinking water should always be tested from qualified and experienced experts. The quantification of lead in drinking water can be done through various methods. These methods can either be on-site based which use drinking water kits or the laboratory based methods that use sensitive instruments like atomic absorption spectrophotometry and inductively coupled plasma for measuring lead in drinking water. To remove the lead contaminated drinking water, there are various methods which are commonly being used. Among these, reverse osmosis is widely used method for removing a variety of contaminants in drinking water including lead. Recently, 
application of nanoparticles has also been proven significant treatment approach for lead removal from drinking water as mentioned schools can contribute significantly in lead exposure among children as they spend a significant amount of time there in addition lead can leach into the water through pipes particularly during holidays and weekends when the water remain in pipes and unused such water if not drained can be a source of lead contamination according to cdc there is no safe limit of lead for children and it can be toxic even at very low levels therefore its monitoring and removal is very essential to keep children safe from contamination us epa has given a concept of 3 t's which include training testing and taking actions in order to keep schools safe from lead contamination some key guidelines for this purpose include the installation of a suitable filtration system such as reverse osmosis system old and corrosive pipes and fittings must be replaced with new ones every 5 years to keep the drinking water system in school safe moreover old playground equipments in school such as artificial turfs may contain lead therefore should be monitored regularly to reduce the exposure in order to keep drinking water safe from lead contamination a routine monitoring of drinking water in schools is essential which should be performed by certified professionals in case lead levels are detected in the drinking water it is highly recommended to remove the contamination using suitable removal strategy further the school administration must ensure to trace and mitigate various sources that can potentially contaminate the drinking water systems i hope you would have enjoyed the informative content in the video and in case you have any query you can reach us at the following addresses thank you and goodbye